Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today guys, I got a special announcement. I want to be Obor. Yes, that's right everybody, I want to be Obor. The reason why I want to be Obor is because I want to tackle Obor today in the, the dungeon of Edgeville. And hopefully we can get a key. So that's what I'm going to work on straight away. I'm going to head over to Edgeville, going to fight some of those hill giants, and then hopefully get a key drop. And then we can fight Obor. So that's the plan for the episode guys, but I do want to thank you once again. I know I've been doing this a lot recently. But I feel like, you know, it's necessary. I gotta thank you guys because you're really supporting the channel. And I just really appreciate it. So once again, thanks for leaving likes and comments on the previous video. I just really appreciate it guys, so thank you so much. But yeah, let's get on to Edgeville and start fighting some of those hill giants. Alright, let's get it guys. I think I'm gonna level up my attack stats once again because I am really close to level 30. And once I hit level 30, I can use the Adamant Sword. Uh, and that'll hopefully boost my XP rate a little bit more. And once I hit level 40 attack, I can use the rune sword. So that'll be really good uh, because a lot of you guys have been saying that it boosts your experience levels quite a lot. It's always really hard to, you know, fight these hill giants because there's so many people here. So I might try switching worlds and see if that makes a difference. But yeah, let's just go ahead and slay some of these hill giants. Crazy out here, guys. The people with the bows legit come and snake your hill giants. I've been standing in this spot for a little while now. And yeah, sometimes my hill giants just get sniped from across the room with the people with the bows but i am checking in because i did get a uncut sapphire from a random event so i'm gonna check how much this is worth all right so it's worth about 900 that's pretty good not too bad uh not the best but you know it's all right it's all right some of the limpwort roots are selling for quite a lot so they're the good money makers here i think i just finished my first kind of session here basically i ran out of food so i'm gonna head back to the ge sell up all of this stuff, see how much money we, we make, and then I'll come back here and, you know, continue to slay these hill giants. We haven't gotten a key yet uh, for Odo's lair, but that's all right. It's a pretty rare job, so I'm not really expecting anything just yet. So I just finished my live stream, guys. I was live streaming for about an hour or so, just killing up some hill giants. It's been a few hours since then, and I've slain a few more. Unfortunately, still no key drop from for Odo, but that's fine. Uh, you know, not really expecting it. If you guys tuned into the live stream, thank you so much. It was awesome to talk to you guys and just hang out and chat. Uh, usually I stream stuff if I'm just grinding. So, you know, if I'm killing a lot of the hill giants, for instance, or something like that, I'll usually stream it. So make sure that you guys have the notification bell on because otherwise you won't get notified when I go live uh, and you'll miss out on the live stream. But yeah, to those people who tuned in, thank you so much. It was really awesome. So we still haven't gotten a key, guys, which is unfortunate. But I think instead of just killing these hill giants, I might actually have a look at a quest uh, that we can do. So I'm going to search for the quest, see which one I might like to do. All right, call me dumb, but I think we're ready to tackle the Black Knight's Fortress quest. You know, this thing has been bugging me. It's been bugging me. It's been sitting there yellow for too long. So I think I'm going to finally attempt it once again. Last time I got destroyed by the Black Knights. So let's get all the items together for the Black Knight's Fortress quest. All right, items acquired, guys. So we got the bronze med helm and the iron chain body. So this is what we need to actually be able to get into the Black Knight Fortress. I'm pretty nervous, guys. I hope that I don't die because, yeah, last time I had a really bad experience. <laughs> so let's see how we go. Okay, here we go, guys. Approaching the Black Knight Fortress. No, you can go away. Shoo. I don't want anything to do with this guy, and he's legit just following me around. Come on now. No, I want to go in the door, no, not fight these guys. What? Why? Come on now. Oh man, this guy's just gonna aggro me. He's not gonna go away. All right, I'll just fight this guy. See you on the flip side, brother. Yeah, all right, let's take his bones. You know, let's just bury his bones just for, just for good measures. Okay, now we can hopefully head into the fortress here. Yeah, so before I was just, yeah, clicking and it attacked the guards, unfortunately. All right, let's go. It's like deja vu, everybody. Climbing up the ladder. So this was, yeah, this is previously known as the safe room. Looks like I got everything. I, I'm gonna put my other armor on. All right, I know that I need to climb down this ladder. And then where do I go? Oh no, there's a knight right there. Come on out. Uh, where do I go? I, I forgot where to go. I think it's through here. I don't know. Oh dang, we actually got that knight stuck. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Except, yeah, okay, other, his friend's coming in. I think let's just bail back up here and I'll, I'll look at what to do. Okay, I think I'm ready. We gotta go down this ladder and then through the door. Come on now, through the door and up this ladder. So, yeah, we want to get over to the Chaos Altar. 
just there. All right, come on, go down the ladder. There we go. All right, the chaos altar. We could pray to chaos here if we want to. Fortunately, I don't want to pray to chaos right now because all I'm getting is those dubs boys, no L's, so we don't need to pray at all. Let's head through here, down the ladder. Looks like we need to do a bit of eavesdropping, guys, to make sure that we listen into the conversation by the goblin and the witch. Okay, so we need to head back uh, to another secret wall. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, there it is. All right, I need to get over there. All right, I think I need to go back to the, the very first room, actually, to get in there. I think I have to go into the big meeting room, the dining room, you know, where all the Black Knight's at. For, yeah, okay, let me put my armor on, and then... We'll go and talk to these guys. Hopefully, I, I still blend in. Oh, damn. This guy's attacking the guard. Yo. This guy's making big moves. He actually just destroyed him, though. Seriously. Okay, we're through. Run for it. Make a run for it. Yeah. There we go. We just duped, duped the Black Knight. Now that we're here, I think we go through this wall. And then it looks like we might be able to drop our cabbage down that chute. Okay, I'm a bit confused. I'm not sure how to drop the cabbage. Because it's not giving me any like inkling so uh oh okay there we go yeah we got it use cabbage in the hole throw it in oh it looks like we got a cutscene yeah that's epic all right let's see what we got down here we got the witch and the goblin oh there we go my cabbage is dropping in boom looks like their whole potion is getting messed up yeah that's sick this is a cool cutscene i like that Damn, nice. Okay, guys, I think that's basically the quest complete. I just need to head back to Falador and talk to the guy who initiated the quest. Okay, here we are in the depths of Falador Castle. So, yeah, we need to talk to this dude over here. He hands you the 2,500 coins. Nice. Add it to the bank. And boom, we got the quest complete. Yo, I'm super happy that we completed the Black Knight Fortress quest. It's been sitting at the top of my quest for so long, just yellow. And, you know, I only had bad memories about it, but... Now that we've turned that all around, I'm really happy to be here, guys. <laughs> no, it's, it's great to see it complete. Uh, once again, if you guys got this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It's just been awesome seeing your feedback, your comments, your likes, and seeing you guys subscribing and stuff. It's just crazy. Uh, my channel's been doing so well, and just thank you guys so much. I don't, I don't know. Just thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate it. But yeah, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now, everybody.